Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Data Warehouse and Informatica Power Center Interview Questions Part 2. So let's start the today's first question. The question might be asked on the different types of transformation like this. What are the different types of transformation available in Informatica Power Center? You can list a few of them. So there are many transformation available in Informatica Power Center. The ma main one you can mention out of this aggregated transformation, source qualifier, custom transformation, expression, external procedure, filter, input, joiner, lookup, normalizer, output, rank, router, sequence generator, sorter, source qualifier, stored procedure, transactional control, union, update strategy, XML generator, XML parser, and XML source qualifier. So these are the transformation available in Informatica Power Center. So when in the interview, if they ask some of the transformation, you can mention some of the transformation from this. What is aggregator transformation? Aggregator transformation is an active and connected transformation. In last interview questions part one, we have seen that what is connected and unconnected transformation. Aggregated transformation is connected transformation. This transformation is useful to perform calculations such as average, sum, etc. Mainly to perform calculation on multiple rows or groups. The next question is what is expression transformation? Expression transformation is a passive and connected transformation. This can be used to calculate values in a single row before writing to target. What is filter transformation? Filter transformation is an active and connected transformation. This can be used to filter rows in a mapping that do not meet the specified condition. What is joiner transformation? Joiner transformation is an active and connected transformation. This can be used to join two sources coming from two different locations or from same location. Why we use lookup transformation? This is the new question. Next question. The lookup transformation can access data from relational tables that are not source in mapping. What is normalizer normalizer transformation? Normalizer transformation is an active and connected transformation. It is used mainly with COBOL sources where the most of the most of the time data is stored in denormalized format. Also, normalizer transformation can be used to create multiple rows from a single row of data. What is rank transformation? A rank transformation is an active and connected transformation. It is used to select the top or bottom rank of the data. What is router transformation? Router transformation is an active and connected transformation. It is similar to filter transformation. The only difference is filter transformation drops the data that do not meet the condition. Whereas a router has an option to capture the data that do not meet the condition. It is useful to test the multiple conditions. What is sorter, sorter transformation? Sorter transformation is connected and an active transformation. It allows to sort data either in ascending or descending order according to a specified field. Name four output files that server creates during session running. 
we know the there are four log files get generated whenever you run the session first is session log file workflow log file errors log files and the fourth one is bad file why we use stored procedure transformation a stored procedure transformation is an important tool to populate and maintain databases what are the difference what is the difference between static cache and dynamic cache dynamic cache decreases the performance in comparison to static cache static cache do not see such a things just inserts data as many times as it is coming of course the dynamic cache is preferable because it generates dynamically what is mapping and session mapping mapping it is a set of source and target definition linked by the transformation objects that define the rules for the transformation session it is a set of instruction that describe how and when to move the data from the source to target next question what is a command that is used to run the batch it is very simple command but over the period of time we might we might forget the command name is pmcmd it is used to start the batch what is data driven the informatica server follows instruction coded into update strategy transformation with in session mapping determine how to flag record for insert update delete or reject so data driven is more relevant to the strategy transformation what is power center repository the power center repository allows you to share metadata across repository repositories to create a data mart domain what is parameter file a parameter file is a file created by text editor such as wordpad or notepad we can define the following values in parameter files first mapping parameters mapping variables session parameters what are the types of lookup caches static cache dynamic cache persistence cache shared cache recache these are the types of lookup caches static dynamic persistent shared and the recache what is stored procedure transformation stored procedure transformation is an passive and connected or unconnected transformation it is used to automate time consuming tasks it is also used in error handling to drop and recreate indexes it also used to determine the space in the database and a specialized calculation what is fact table the centralized table in a star schema is called as a fact table fact tables are three types additive additive non additive and semi additive what is source qualified transformation source qualified transformation is an active and connected transformation when adding a relational or a flat file source definitions to mapping it must be it is it is must to connect to a source qualified transformation the source qualifier performs the various tasks such as overriding default sql query filtering records join data from two or more tables what is difference between maplet and reusable transformation maplet consists of 
set of transformations that is reusable. A reusable transformation is a single transformation that can be reusable. What is update strategy transformation? Update strategy transformation is an active and connected transformation. It is used to update data in target table, either to maintain the history of data or recent changes. You can specify how to treat the source rows in a table. Insert, update, delete, or data driven. So these are the questions normally get asked during the Informatica and Data Warehouse interview. I hope this uh, these interview questions are helpful for your preparation. If you have any questions, you can mention in the video below. Thank you for watching the video and you can subscribe my channel as well. Thank you.